Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Parasitha, and I am going to talk about body proportions when it comes to mermaid, or just mermaid proportions. I know a lot of different people try different styles, or they try to draw mermaids and it's just like it never works out and it just looks completely terrible. <laughs> But, you know, everybody gets better. More practice, the better it goes. And I just want to give a couple of pointers. During my Instagram journey of mermaid post, I'm going to be using my Arteza watercolor set. I wanted to do watercolor. I posted like a poll on what to do for uh, mermaid, what medium to use. So everybody voted watercolor. So this is basically the styles what I'm gonna do for all of mermaid. And I've got just regular Strathmore cold press paper and my Prismacolor black pencil. And yep, so let's go ahead and jump into it. When you are drawing a mermaid proportionally, I always feel like, you know, you can never go wrong with the line of action. So I'm gonna use my brown color erase pencil because it's easy to erase. And it kind of blends in with my watercolors. I'm gonna go ahead and draw the head to my mermaid, kind of place her up there because I want to draw the full body of the mermaid. So I'm gonna do a line of action, so maybe if she's just like, you know, and the tail's down here, maybe curved up. So line of action always definitely helps when you're positioning your characters. Now, another thing I like to do is I like to do like, you know, you see those little dummy wooden creatures? <laughs> they're not wooden creatures, they're like human wooden people, and you know, you can, use them as proportion wise and I always make like the Dorito for the top of the body and then it goes down. The thing is when you start to make the bottom half of the person, so the legs that you would draw for a person, you want to make sure that it's still like the length of legs, like you still want to include this mermaid having a butt. I've seen so many times where somebody will draw their mermaid, let's say this is my mermaid, and they'll make the mermaid like that. And you don't want <laughs> So I see a lot of mermaids that are built like a lot of the characters or mermaids that I see students draw are kind of like, they square off but there's no like, there's no differentiation from where, differentiation, a, that's a word I made up. <laughs> there is no difference between the top half or the bottom half of the mermaid and that's a thing on any kind of character shape or size there's always a bottom half and there's a top half so maybe you know bring out make like a diamond see how that kind of starts to look like a diamond and then maybe put the tails at the end that's the thing you don't want to just square it off another thing that I see with incorrect mermaids is okay here's here's my mermaid here's the body okay this is what i see like they start to draw a tail and then they curve it up that's another thing i can't stand and then it's like that it's like that's that's not mermaid <laughs> no it's okay if you you've drawn mermaids like that in the past i know i have definitely drawn mermaids like that in the past and there's also the here's the head here's the body on um, tail like really short tail you can never go wrong with like making a tail too long so I can bring this tail all the way back here now the thing is is we have the Dorito and then you want to keep this idea of a tear shape so you have that tear shape all right so then you I'm gonna draw my other proportions and see most mermaids like, okay, I'm just gonna have her like posing. It's on if your art is PG or PG-13, but I have a lot of young viewers and young followers on Instagram. So I always draw like seashell bras or like some kind of clothing for my mermaid, but usually it's like in a bikini fashion, so for example, I'll do like the basic bikini like seaweed wrap. That's a one one of the popular ones. So I'll just kind of like wrap like a the seaweed look make it look like she wrapped seaweed around her chest. That's one of the popular fashions of mermaidum. 
maybe have a couple of the seaweeds hanging off the back. You know, make it look like ribbons. I know, you gotta be careful. Sometimes scrolling through the mermaid hashtag. I know a lot of artists draw like nude posing and stuff and I'm just like, whoa, that's too much. Okay, anyway, so here's like some seaweed hanging off in the back. Now the other thing with mermaids is how low their tails are or anything. Uh, sometimes, you know, I just kind of like say like, okay, so this is possibly where her belly button is, all right? So there's the belly button and then this is where the hips are. And usually where the hips start is where that, that's where I decide, okay, that's the top of the tail. There are different versions of how people start the tail. So some people like to draw like scales up on the body and then they like, they go right in front of that line that kind of cuts off where those hips start. And then they'll have like scales going up into her midriff or there's always the basic, you know, the Ariel, the Little Mermaid. You've got the fins coming around and wrapping around like this big fluffy belt, almost. It's a, there's a lot of different versions of how people draw the actual start to the tail starting at the midriff. So I'm just gonna try to start with like, like the scale fashion. So I'm just gonna kind of bring it up. And sometimes I've even seen like one of my favorite artists, her name's like Gretel, I don't even know how to pronounce her last name, but she is like, I think she's like a European artist and she has the scales go all the way across her chest and it's really a different interesting kind of take on mermaids, which I have seen before in some depictions of mermaids like in Peter Pan, I think that's how they were in the live action with Jeremy Sumter. So anyways, when you get to the bottom of the tail, you have to stick to that teardrop shape. So you get really close to the end of that teardrop. Now, a lot of tails are done in different ways. You could do the little mermaid tail, where you know, you, you bring out this side. So I'm just bringing out the middle of that fin. And you go on one side over here, and then you can make like another side over here. And then you bring out like, you go and you make sections of that tail, all right? Now you've got the other side where, I'm just gonna bring this one up and go right alongside of it. So this one's kind of hiding behind this one. So you curve this tail up and it's hiding behind that one. So it's kind of like, you know, a current, like making, she's kind of stabilizing herself, kind of like, oh, what's up? Like maybe there's something over here that surprised her. All right, now that's a huge thing. Another thing is when you're drawing mermaids under the sea, I'm gonna use one of my decoy mermaids over here. You never want to draw a mermaid with their hair just kind of hanging off on back. All right, they're under the sea. If you've ever seen yourself when you jump into a pool or an ocean or if you see your friend, their hair is everywhere. There's no gravity. So the hair should be going crazy. So. It's always smart to kind of lift the hair, unless it's like a different kind of hairstyle, all right, or a different kind of type of hair. But most mermaids have like super long hair, and it's just kind of like floating in the sea. And you never wanna like, you can never go wrong with throwing different strands in different directions. Like, okay, here's some right here, and here's some over here. The hair is just going crazy. And that's one thing you want to do, unless like they're sitting on a cliff. Then of course, you know, yeah, their hair is hanging down. Maids is you never want to get caught up on a certain color scheme, all right? There are tons of different versions of mermaid with all kinds of color schemes. So she can have pink skin, she can have green skin, she can look like a lake monster. And um, there's just so many different versions. She can look like a really scary, like Darth Vader vampire mermaid. It's up to you. You don't have to stick with actual ethnicity color schemes when it comes to mermaids. So that is something I love. I did all last year with mermaid was I did different colored mermaids. Like I did a pink one, I did an orange one, I did a purple one. And it's 
totally up to you on how you perceive it. So in Hook, you see the different colored hair mermaids. Don't be afraid to just really switch up your entire color spectrum when it comes to mermaids. Another huge problem that I see with mermaids are tails in general. I've seen a lot of different versions of tails. So let's say, okay, here's my person over here and I'm gonna do my teardrop. Now I get to the fin. So the fin part of the tails is what I'm talking about. I always go like from here, I draw one little line this way and one little line this way. So, you know, it kind of looks like a stick person almost. And usually those two little lines help me figure out what tail I wanna make. Like I've seen tails rounded. I've seen tails like really rounded. And you can always build up on each side. When you're in the water, everything's kind of moving because there is no gravity. So it's like hair. So you see with like, you've got currents and waves and you see how my mermaid is kind of, her tail's going this way and her hair is going this way. Well, it's kind of like a, a, like a crazy kind of current thing and I wanted to draw her with the intention that she's kind of like falling backwards into the current, like she's trying to steady herself looking at something over here. That's what I was trying to go with. When you're under the ocean with your mermaids, unless they're sitting on a cliff or a rock, or the sand, whatever it is, you want to make your mermaids look like they're stuck in a constant current in the ocean. For like another version of a tail, it is making that pointed tail that we know that Ariel has, that we're all very aware with. So that pointed tail. And then instead of like going like, you can always go straight down, like making like a petal almost. That's really one famous way, and that is probably the way that Ariel is drawn. Now, let's say, let's look at, is this dry? Okay. <laughs> let's look at this tail over here. So I've got my teardrop, all right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make my two little lines. Instead of making like those really sharp edge tails, like that, like that try to make it rounder so you're making a round tail like round pointed edges to your tail um, let's see for her let's fix her I'll make my teardrop like for the teardrop like if you're going to make a mermaid that's kind of like sitting like this in the back like here's her midriff point so my line of action, it should be kind of like, you know, if you were bending your, like your legs in the back. Then you'd want your tail to kind of like flow behind you. Like she's coming to an abrupt stop like this, like, oh no. I stopped like this like she's coming to an abrupt spot stop whatever <laughs> and so you want to keep that in mind and then of course there are really fun different options I've seen shark tails I like I said I did the jellyfish tail there are all kinds of different versions there's all kinds of different shapes and sizes of versions of mermaids so you can go crazy with however you want to draw your mermaid another huge thing that I see a problem with are seashell bras the best way that I can tell you guys on how to draw seashell bras 
is, all right, so let's make this person, well, this mermaid, look more like a person. Ba -ba -ba, here are my arms, and here's the midriff, and then here's my tail. All right, when you have to look at how your mermaid is flowing, because if you've got a mermaid over here, and you draw this, that's not gonna work. Like, that's the head, neck, boop, boop, there. Or I've seen like a ton of people draw, like I'm gonna go to this mermaid down here. I've seen a ton of people draw like this, like they're right on top of each other, or one's bigger than the other. So it's just, it's a constant thing. You, what you wanna do, you keep your line of action, so you see how I drew my mermaid in this way. You want to keep it to where close together, and of course, they're either just like hanging on or they've got straps. I have no idea. Or they've got straps up here. It's totally up to you on how you want to place the seashell bra. But they should be genuinely like close together. And if this one's going off to this side and this one's going off to this side, then you want to keep them proportionate. But the best way is to just kind of push them close together. But they should be like across the torso. So over here, let's say, let's go over to this mermaid. All right, now if she's facing us forward, I'm just gonna draw like two circle shapes. Now I wanna keep them together, but they're the same width apart. Now I'm gonna like make the bottom of the seashells connect at the middle. And then you wanna like split the seashell into sections, kind of like the tail. And then you can, after that, you can go right back and just round off the edges. That's the easiest way. Now, I don't usually, to kind of like signify different ages, let's like say that this is a, this is a little girl mermaid, all right? So that's when I would use like the seashell kelp bra, and you wanna just kind of like, I use like, you know, I make a, a V neck on top, kind of cross off so it looks like a crop top almost and then I put in the different areas for like where I think the seashell or I mean like the sea kelp is going over her chest. There's, it's really difficult. I struggled a ton with how to draw seashells on mermaids and it's just, it's never fun. <laughs> But it's, it's a different kind of process. You just have to, it's a lot of trial and error. Scales. So usually I'm gonna use like a really teeny tiny brush to kind of show you how I do scales. So with scales, since I'm doing watercolor, I'll basically just do your basic little dots here and there. And then I'll draw down here on her actual tail. A lot of people do like this. Or they'll make it in the middle like they're overlapping and then they'll start all over again. That's usually technically correct with a mermaid skin like fabric. Gales, if you were to look at a snake or a chameleon or a turtle, whatever reptilian creature has scales. You, their scales are not symmetrical in a way. Some are, but mostly not. So I usually just do like, instead of doing like this, I go up and, and I don't cover my entire mermaid's tail with scales. Like I'll make a section of scales here, but I'll do a section of scales down here. Or even when my watercolor's still wet, I'll just go in and make those sections and they should just separate naturally. But I like to like kind of like, sometimes like if the scales are separated from the tail, then I ex accent them a little bit more. And a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people do like that. It's like, that's not scales. <laughs> And that's a way to just kind of approach it, is to go in and just do separate sections. Kind of like if you've ever read The Rainbow Fish, how the rainbow fish had different parts that were colorful. And that's what you want to do, just lightly go in. And I use just your simple little ovals, or sometimes I use like the teardrop kind of thing. 
So they look like little teardrops because they get skinnier on top as the bottom, as opposed to the bottom. And there you guys go. There's a fun, like it's not a tutorial, but it's a points and tips and tricks for when drawing mermaid bodies. I know getting proportionate body proportions is always a difficult task for any artist in general. Mermaid's a ton of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little tutorial and I hope you'll follow me on my Instagram to see the prompts that I'm choosing. It's gonna be fun. I've got a really great idea. I don't know if I can do it but I'm gonna try. So yes guys, I hope you'll go and check out my mermaid post. I'm gonna do all watercolor using my Arteza watercolor uh, pan set that they gave me which was super nice. But yes guys, I hope you all have fun. Do a couple mermaid pictures. It's up to you. It's a great way to practice. And plus, what else do you have to do? I know I don't have anything else to do, so technically, whatever. <laughs> Bye guys. Have a wonderful day.